Hello and welcome. In this video, I will talk about a very interesting scenario which is how to import the bank statement, the advanced bank reconciliation bank statement by data entity or Excel. So from 10.0.40 10, 10 version, Microsoft has given a possibility to import the bank statement by using the data entities. So for that data entity, so the first thing you need to do when you upgrade your version to 10.0.40 10, 10 first thing you need to do is to need to refresh data entity list from framework parameters maybe I will just expand this okay so from the framework parameters under data management you just refresh the entity list and by the batch job the data entity will come to your repository like data entities repository and once this data entity is you know uh, is available in the dynamics is by finance and operation then you will have these two data entities which is bank statement header and bank statement lines right so let me just go through the Microsoft document so this is the documentation from Microsoft which is two available data entities are there which is bank statement header and bank statement lines and in the bank statement headers these are the fields available to import the bank statement by using the data entity and these are the fields available in the line level data entity okay let's see how to do this so for the interest of time what I have done I have created this I have exported the data entity and created one file so that I can show you so this is the bank statement header okay so here I have created one bank statement like statement ID, bank account, currency, ending balance, from date, to date and opening balance. And if I go to lines, in this line all the available fields which is available which is there in the bank statement line in dynamics those fields are available like if I give an example like line number, bank account, statement ID, booking date, amount, uh, bank transaction code. You know uh, then document number entry reference then reference number line status reversal yes or no trading party related bank all the available fields are there in the in the recon bank statement you know uh, bank statement form those are all available in the data entities so once we have prepared this then you just need to import it right so I will just go back maybe I will delete it I will just remove this now what I will do I will just uh, like Excel bank statement header then I will upload by using this data entity check this is the one bank statement header and then I will add another one which is bank statement lines okay and then we import it right then and I will go back to the bank statements and here yeah, so I have added as 031 as a statement ID which is not available and what I will do I will just click on import I will just wait for a couple of minutes to get it imported let's see how it looks like we will give some time stay with me So it is in executing mode, it is executing I think by some few seconds, it will be just imported. <coughs> okay. I am 
just clicking on refresh to make it faster ultimately it does not get faster but i can see the status so one header is imported is created and now i will wait for this bank statement line so in bank statement lines i have created two lines so i am expecting that two lines will be imported in this bank statement header so let's wait more few more seconds let's count down 5 4 3 2 1 0 0.75 0 0.5 0 okay fine so these two are imported now i will go back to the bank statement and i will just refresh it and if you see this bank statement has been imported in d65 this is a new thing i would say uh, because previously data entity was there but that was in xml so it was just transforming the xml file and getting imported in d65 but from now this is a new investment which microsoft has done that you know many bank in the world which does not have any standard format like mt940 ba12 right so for them this will be very much uh, useful because as of now i have we have been getting a lot of questions in the community that how to transform the file like from excel how can you import it so this new feature will definitely help them by using the data entity and it will be imported in d65 so if i just go into this if you see all the fields which have we have just updated in the excel file those are updated here so once everything is correct so i will just validate so validate is fine confirm done now i can go back and create the new bank statement from here i can go to worksheet i can you can see all the transactions are there i can go further and you know so i can if i if there, if there is a matching rule i can run the matching rules or manual banks reconciliation also i can do that so it's just the impo import uh, you know functionality which microsoft has given that as of now like i mentioned only the mt940 format and the other format as per iso that was available but for now from 10 or 40 version we can use the data entity and by that data entities those data entities we can import the bank statement with this device finance and operation so i hope it will be very much helpful uh, you know uh, in some cases i will say and there are a lot of you know, opportunities you can utilize this you can leverage this framework like you can transform your you know unstructured m 940 or other bank statement to excel somewhere and then you can import it just think about it but that is the new possibility which microsoft has given i'm sure this will be helpful for everyone not if not everyone but maximum or you know some of them who is you know looking forward to use this data entity and import bank statement in this situation financial operation so that's it for this video thank you for watching stay tuned for another video like this Bye for now.